Right, we're back and we're going to talk about mesh testing. What is it? Um, we've had a lot of comments about, like, what is mesh testing? Damn it, what is it? <laughs> All right, so what is it? Mesh Tastic is a bit of software, it's open source, uh, and you run the Mesh Tastic firmware on your LoRa device. And this, and that's, that's another LoRa device, and you run an app, a Mesh Tastic app on your phone. What's a LoRa device? They were used for Internet of Things back in the day. Internet things. Internet of things. Yes. And they, so the protocol was used for like temperature sensor data, humidity sensor data, door open, gate open, they close that kind of thing. So Meshtastic puts that kind of in a realm where we can use it for sending messages. And finding gold. Gold! No, water dividing. Yes. <laughs> so how is it different than when we send like a text? Okay, so when I send a text, it goes from my phone to the cell tower, through their infrastructure, to your closest cell tower, to your phone. Right. Makes sense. Okay, so with this stuff, it goes from my phone to my Meshtastic device, directly to yours, or through a number of Mesh nodes, then to your phone, through your Meshtastic device. So we are now the cell tower? Yes, yeah, so essentially we're doing away with the man. The man. Well, the no. new man. Yeah. What is this now? So that's an upgraded antenna. The antennas that come with these little Hilton phones, they're okay, um, but that's a bit of an upgrade. We'll do an extra video on that. And what is that? That is a lovely 3D printed case that I printed, uh, but it's a T beam. And because I'm a genius, I ordered the wrong device. This one doesn't have a screen. But it's actually okay, it still works perfectly well, and it just has a default code to log into or to pair to it with your Bluetooth device. So it works fine. So get cheap, buy the ones without the screen. Uh, I'll back to my original question. Yes. What is it? <laughs> so, it so it is another LoRa device. Uh, it is a LilyGo TV without the screen. I guess the other thing we should probably talk about is frequencies. The, the LoRa device is, LoRa is long range, but it's not long range as in halfway around the planet, it's long range as in a couple of kilometers. Although the world record is at about 200 kilometers. From one device to another? I don't know, I, I presume it's from one device to another. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I guess they need lots and lots of height for that. So this would be good like if you had a bunch of people out camping. Yeah. No cell reception. Yeah. I mean, we use it around here, but obviously our mobile phones work. It's more for testing purposes. Yeah, we for, we use it as a kind of learning tool so that we can learn new stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're out camping in the sticks and there's no cell tower reception, so you would need your phone and everybody would need their own mesh plastic device. Yes. And then as long as you're within range. And it's so we're getting two kilometers without too much grief, particularly with the new antennas. With the original Heltec antenna, we struggled between our houses and we're only 500 meters away. With these things, uh, communication between the houses is fine. So I have one of these at home and I have one of these at home and then Lee has the same thing. So the phones connect to the T-beams and the T-beams use these to connect out to the network. So how does the T-beam help? Uh, the T-beam helps because you can have that with you because the Bluetooth range on these is awful. Right. So remember when I tried mine in the loft? Yes. Yeah, I couldn't get Bluetooth to that in the loft. So this is a Bluetooth range extender? So, no, no, so it is, they both have Bluetooth, yeah. and they both have, they, we run nine, 950 megahertz in Australia. Um, but the, the Bluetooth for this, when you directly connect from your phone to this, it's terrible. Okay. So that to that is better. And then this has a bigger antenna, so this gets bigger range. So these are the ones we've set up as our kind of home base stations. Right. And then these are the ones that go with us. Your phone connects to that, that sends it to, to the mesh network, and that sends it out. All right, so we're going to do more on the, the Mesh-tastic stuff. We're going to go a little bit more in depth into these antennas. We will do some range, proper range testing uh, in our very scenic spot that we used last time. Do we have a prediction? More than we got last time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. See, a lot of people go for height when they're doing the range testing. 
Uh, we're trying not to do that because A, we live in Australia and it's, we're coastal, it's quite flat, so we're going to sea level. So we'll get kind of pretty true range testing. Yes. That's the kind of way of putting it. Uh, so it's not going to be using loads of height to bounce things off. We're just going to go straight line of sight. What was it last time? Two About kilometers? two kilometers. Double that. You reckon double that? More than that. Okay, so his prediction, double that, four kilometers. We'll see. So check back with us as they will do more with this. But yeah, more stuff coming.